guys welcome and welcome back to those of you that have been here before uh, today I'm really excited I get to unbox a new to me company which I haven't done in a while so yo something new is always good but this one super special because this pink tube that you see in front of you is from craftably now, if you have been diamond painting for a while, I'm sure you've heard of Craftably. They are a small family-owned business in Fort Worth, in Texas. So yes, <laughs> that does mean this little guy traveled basically halfway around the world to get to me. So, I'll um, start with the obvious part which is the challenges of getting it here. Uh, I don't really know how to explain to somebody from outside of South Africa just how bad our post office is. And most companies from the US ship via UPS to South Africa. So that would mean UPS would get it on that side and they would hand it over to our post office. Now, normally in a functioning country, that wouldn't be a problem. But in South Africa, that means one of two things. Option one being you're going to wait a long, long, long time to get it. Or option two, you're just not going to get it. So that makes it hard for us to shop in America. Or the UK, or anywhere else for that matter. Because we need to use couriers, which can be really, really, really costly. Now, to sort of negate the issue, we use parcel forwarding companies. And in this specific case, I've made use of Aramax Global Shopper. But basically, I ordered it on the 24th of March. Uh, it arrived in New York on the 30th of March and it was then sent via air fry to South Africa and arrived in Johannesburg on the 4th of April. It took about two days to clear customs and then Easter hit so I had to wait a few extra days but it was delivered to me this morning which is the 13th of April so all in all from arriving at the parcel forwarding company to having it in my hand. It took about five business days, which is not that bad. The shipping cost was around 650 Rand, which again, it's not great, but it's reasonable. And then, of course, the question everybody's wondering is, but to me, how much was your customs? Now, this is the part that was quite interesting to me because I really thought it was going to be a lot more but my customs amount came to 81 Rand that was about 10% of the purchase price and the VAT was 145 Rand odd <laughs> yes this accountant will always mention the VAT can't help it just the way my brain is wired and then Aramax charges a customs clearance fee why i don't know but they do i'm not going to complain about it because i don't have to submit documents to such so yeah bonus so all in all my shipping total was 924 rand 70 which i realize is more than i paid for the diamond painting it is quite a scary amount but, and I have to add this, it was cheaper than having it shipped via UPS and the South African Post Office. So let's just say I happily paid the amount because I at least knew I was going to get it. And if I didn't get it, Aramax would have had to refund me or replace the product because they have something called, I think it's AGS Protect. So basically if your order value is under a hundred dollars you get free insurance on your parcel so anything happens to it doesn't get delivered to you you can submit a claim and then they have to replace it now 
obviously with it being I think it's in like two and a half thousand kilometers across the US and then flown down to South Africa it travels about a thousand kilometers from Johannesburg to Cape Town and another 120 kilometers from Cape Town to me so there's quite a bit of risk involved so having that insurance bit gives me some peace of mind the part that I don't enjoy about Aramax, and this is not me shaming them. This is just an honest opinion about my experience with them over the years. They used to be really excellent. You could be assured you'd receive wonderful customer service if you had any questions or problems. But I almost want to say for about the last six months, it's been a bit of a nightmare. The online platform doesn't, it's not user friendly, it doesn't function quite as good as it used to. So in my case my parcel showed it shipped three times from the same facility and I queried it. To which I got a reply something along the lines of, no but that's just it traveling from one destination to the other. And from the answer they gave me, <laughs> it's impossible to have gotten from Johannesburg last night midnight according to the online platform to in my hands this morning at 11 so I'm not saying don't use them I'm also not saying use them (laughs) if that makes sense if you're a patient person and you value getting your stuff here for cheaper use them if you're like me and you expect wonderful customer service because you are paying them a hefty fee so yeah then I think my next overseas order will require me looking into some alternative options now I know my happy place with Kimi she has been using a company called Postbox Career, I think. And then there's also my US. So my next order from either the UK or the US will probably be through one of those companies simply because I want alternatives, guys. I can't deal with these people. Okay. So let's get to the exciting part. Let's open it. Okay, so I just skipped through the part of me struggling to get this out of the tube. So, inside your tube, you get your beautiful purple baggie. And your diamond painting is covered in a dustproof bag. Another little touch that I appreciate. So, let's start with the toolkit. Comes in this little branded bag like a hessian material quite like it it's nice it's different different is always nice so let's see here's our tool bag then we have some merry christmas washi tape this is so sweet we have another roll of washi tape with these Colourful leaves on it. Ooh, my camera is not working with me. Then we have a craftably branded tub of wax. And, guys, a cover reminder. Let's open this one up. Clearly, today, I'm not good. At opening things. That'll probably help if I take off the solid tape. There you go. Isn't that just so adorable? Now for those of you that don't know, you use a cover minder to fold back the clear plastic that comes on your diamond painting so that you can work on whatever section you're working on. So you've got one magnet that goes beneath your canvas and then this little guy also has a magnet and the two of them go like yay 
and it keeps the plastic together. Let's see what's next. Next we have this baggie. And inside of this we have this is a full blazer. And we also get a seven blazer. These are the thin ones. Now personally, I don't multi-blaze. Some people think I'm crazy. I don't know. I just don't like it. I am a single blazer. Then we also get two blocks of wax. Normal pink wax. I think you used to get purple wax or something. Kind of disappointed that I didn't get the purple wax, but we can live with it. Then you get a diamond painting pen with another full blazer and a single blazer. And I don't think oh you can see it a bit. So it's just a clear pen with silver glitter in. You get a purple tweezer. Ooh. These are nice and sharp. So of course, keep on the little, protect the thingy, don't stab yourself. Then this is squishy for your pen. But I actually saw something really interesting on, I think it was the Diamonds and Emeralds Facebook group. So somebody basically took the squishy, cut it in two, and stuck it on the tweezers, which I think is a really good idea. Because I place my squares. <laughs> <laughs> it's a user. I know, so OCD. Don't even want to get into that. And I think it should be really comfortable if you've got something soft and squishy on your tweezer. And then, <laughs> guys, my favorite part of this toolkit a purple MOSFA tray with glitter. Anything with glitter is always. A winner in my book. Always. I love glitter. I will admit this, I'm not the world's most girly girl, but glitter always wins. Now, while I normally choose to leave out the toolkit if I can, because I don't really use them. I've got custom pens and I've got 3D printed and resin trays that I use. I like to see what's in an A toolkit the first time I buy from a new company. And I have to say, I'm actually really impressed of the Craftably toolkit. It's quite useful. I think if you've never diamond painted before, this is literally everything you need. So, do you find that for Craftably for their toolkit? But now, let's get into the part that you're really here for, the diamond painting. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and rolled back the canvas because obviously after traveling that really long distance this little guy is a bit rolled and in need of some attention if you want to put it like that. So it is a port glue canvas meaning perfectly safe to roll it back. You won't do any damage if you do roll it back. Give it a few minutes. It'll probably lay flat on its own, but I'm not the world's most patient person, so let's go. There we go, guys. This is The Watcher by Katrina Coltes. I don't know, the second I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I've got a thing about foxes, I've got a thing about the whole universe stars moons and the shapes here at the bottom i don't know what it's supposed to be to me it's like an abstract succulent so this one was just the perfect painting for me so let's go on a little tour of the canvas up here at the top we have the craftably branding We have 
a legend on the left and another legend on the right. At the bottom here, you've got some social information and there is a email address that you can contact if you are not entirely happy with your painting. I think they've got like a 60 day something. But yeah, I don't think that's applicable to me because I'm already super happy. And then here on the left hand side, we have the name of the painting, a little thumbnail, and the name of the artist, which is Katrina Coltes. Now, Katrina Coltes is one of my favorite artists. She is based in Italy. And I know that besides painting, she also does um, sculpting and jewelry design. So, yeah, check her out on Instagram. I'll post a link below. This is a 52 by 52 centimeter square drill diamond painting. It has 31 colors, of which, let's see. I don't know, you guys see here? We have one, two, three, four, five ABs. Those are some weird AB codes, but we'll figure those out as we go. I'm just, guys, I love this painting so much. So, 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 so much. We have, ooh, we've got a sticker sheet. There is some individually cut stickers. And of course, a logbook sticker. And then we have all these stickers. I'll probably have to cut them a bit smaller, but still, they're awesome. And you get like a bunch of little extras that you can do whatever with. But I really like this, this is so cute. I sweat glitter. <laughs> if only, eh? Okay. Now. Let's have a look at the printing. Let me get you guys nice and close. As you can see, things are like really clear. I'm really happy with that. I don't see any symbols that I'll confuse for others. This is like really, really clear symbol. I'm super happy with this. All the dark ones seem to have white printing on and all the light ones are printed with black. So that makes it really easy to see. I think that should give you a reasonable idea of where we're at with the printing. Just get you back here. Okay. Yes, I need a bigger desk. I know. Just give me a second and we'll get into the drills. So the drills come in this bag, they are all in pre-packed baggies, Ziploc baggies, I love those, I really hate those trains of drills, they are the worst. But these come in pre-packed baggies and they start. Your drills are marked with a sticker, so if you store your canvas and your drills separately, which I do sometimes, you'll know. Which rules are which? So instead of going for each color individually, I decided let's just pack them all out in a little spread to give you an idea of what the color palette is. But of course, I had to keep the most important ones, in my opinion, for last. And that would be our five. Yes, you heard right. Five. AB colors. Now our first AB is this beautiful light pink. It's very subtle. I love this one. Then they call this one AB08 but I think this is our good old trusty 5200 AB. Then we've got a lovely light yellow, a more corally pink, as my lighting is terrible, I'm so sorry, 
And then AB959. I love this color. Isn't it just beautiful? And then, of course, it's time for the part that I'm absolutely horrible at, which is showing you where the ABs go. So the first one we have is AB03. I need to find out which DMC color that is. But the symbol for that one is the N. And you can see them over here in this pink flower plant all over here and down here as well. So let's do that. That one goes there. Then we have AB08, which I think is 5200. Now this one is a bit of a different story. This one is all over. This one's symbol is O. And O is here in the moon. We've got some going on here in these white pieces. I like how they sort of highlight the outline of the plants. Then we have some more over here in the stars. I think it's stars. And up here, as well as all the way up here. So, where shall we put this one? Let's put it in the stars. Let's put it in the stars. Then we have AB37, which is the yellow one. Again, I'll have to look up the DMC number for that. And the symbol for this one is Y, which is, let's see. Hmm. Down the over here. And there. And again, down here. So, I'll put this one here. Then we have... AB893. DMC colors makes more sense to me. Okay, so the symbol for this one is P, which is again here in the flower, these darker pink. I think you should be able to see them. And they are also up here. So we've got some nice corally pink ABs as well. And then our last one is AB959, and it is the chickmark. Now this one is all over. Like, I can see it everywhere. It's down here. It is over here. And over here. And over here. Let's see, is it up there? I don't think so. But yeah, so it's a nice little scattering of ABs to sort of highlight the outlines of all the plants. I like that. But I do maybe have a plan to make the entire moon ABs. We'll have to see. I think maybe. Either ABs or crystals. Or even glow in the dark, who knows? We'll have to see. So, my final thoughts, my overall view, if you want to view it like that, is craftably expensive for me as a South African. Yes. Is it worth it? Absolutely. I love this canvas, the rendering is amazing. It's a nice balance of color blocking and confetti. There's actually a lot of line blocking in this, which I don't mind. I don't like massive pieces of one color, but I do appreciate a bit of line blocking. It sort of keeps your painting moving. The drawls seem really nice, but of course you don't know what it's like until you actually start using it. So if I do a post review, <laughs> I will definitely let you know my thoughts on that. I'm very happy with the printing. It is super clear. I'm quite happy with the canvas. I don't even think I showed you guys. It's like a soft lint backed canvas. Mind my <laughs> wires. And yeah, customer service was excellent, guys. Like, they really helped me 
because I don't know if you guys know this, but <laughs> South African customs is a pain. You need to have a commercial invoice and it can't just be an order confirmation and you need to make sure that the weight and everything is recorded. So there's quite a few questions <laughs> that I had to ask craftably and they were super helpful. Always responded really quickly. So customer service from them, absolutely top notch. I give them five stars for that. The diamond painting itself, nice thick cover, super sticky, clear printing, excellent colors, wonderful charting. I actually wonder if they hand chart this. I've never paid enough attention <laughs> to know if this is hand charted or computer generated, but seeing as I don't see any unnecessary confetti, I'd go as far as to say I think this is hand charted. Or at the very least, hand in the beard, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. I definitely think I'll be purchasing from them again. They do have about four other Gretrina Goldfield pieces that I really want. I'm really happy with their pricing. I'm really happy with how fast it was shipped from them. I'm happy with how fast it arrived at its destination in the US. Just think I need to try a different parcel forwarding company. But yeah, what do you guys think? Have you ever bought from Craftsably? Are they on your wish list? Have you done any paintings from them? Let me know in the comments down below. As usual, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.